to my channel, and if you're new, hey, what's up? My name is Tanya, and this is my hubby, Kurt. That is apparently going to be here for three days. <laughs> Hold it up. <laughs> that was my delivery from Sephora, uh, from the Rouge Hall, and then I actually don't even have everything because there's still stuff coming in tomorrow and the next day and the next day they're trinkling in. But I figured... We should probably just film this. This was a, hey babe, um, I'm gonna need your help on this next video. <laughs> uh, Cause there's no I way. I hope you had nothing planned for the rest of the week. How much do you think this weighs? Oh my God, I don't know. 40 pounds, 35 <laughs> yeah, pounds? Yeah, like it is ridiculous. 35 I feel, pounds? I, I don't know. I felt bad for the UPS <laughs> Because <laughs> normally it comes in like little, you know, I order daily usually from Sephora and you get little boxes. I've never had a box like this come. Because even my hauls that I've done in the past have been broken up. Um, no, not this one. No so I need, I need his help. And Tyra, I really appreciate you saying in the last update video just, you know, send it back you guys don't need new things uh for me to review because i have so much makeup but uh we have figured out a way around it for now and on top of that sephora which i'm actually appreciative of has put a new policy in place where your account will actually get flagged if you're making too many returns versus how many purchases you're making so I'm happy because I think people were probably abusing the system way too much and if I tried to ship all this back, my account would be flagged. I only want to ship back things that are really crappy. Like today, there's I threw it back in here but uh, I tested out stuff on my base and for instance the Sephora foundation is going back because it's horrific. <laughs> but, as I, but if the ratio is returns to purchases. Yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah, but I if Tyra okay. was like, just send everything back because of the finances right now, because I said how I made this purchase before we realized that the tax person messed up, and then that's right. why Tyra was like, just send it back then, and I don't want my account to be flagged or shut down or whatever. It just, yeah. So, and um, life goes on. Yep. So thank you to everybody for all of your sweet comments and keeping us in your prayers, giving us well wishes, positive thoughts and everything. Uh, my grandpa is actually doing much better. He is out of the hospital right now. He's still being monitored, but he's much better. Luby is not. Uh, the tests, a bunch of tests came back and they were not good and he's going back in tomorrow for further testing. So I'll have more answers on that for you guys um, hopefully soon. And I will have my paper within the next one to three weeks so I can go home and spend some time with my family. So. I have missed YouTube, I have missed you guys, I already said that while I was doing the tutorial and everything else today, so let's dive into all of this. I'm not going to be swatching all of this, obviously, that will be many videos moving forward, there so we're just going to... Well, there's no banging this out. We're going to uh, as much methodically... As chip away at it. Yeah, and I'm going to tell Kurt bathroom, because then he's going to put stuff in a box on that side, and then makeup I'm putting over here, so at least there's going to be some kind of organization to I'm this. pretty sure Kurt's going to need the bathroom once or twice before this thing is over. <laughs> okay. As will you. So, getting started right here, let's start with my two favorite dry shampoos. This is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo Light Tones. This is what I love to try to help cover up my roots when I'm trying to cover up my roots because it actually leaves a tint. And then the DPU HCV is Apple Cider Vinegar by DPHU. This one I'm obsessed with because it has the antimicrobial and antiseptic properties in it. So I literally put a veil of this over my head every time I leave my house because of the germs and I like the properties in this and I've been using it for months. <laughs> so that this is going to be way too much information for me. Uh, 
Okay, while we're in here, L'Occitane, the supple skin oil is amazing. Pass on the shower. The shower one is like a waste of $50. You need moisture afterwards. This one though is incredible. I love it. I highly recommend this as long as you don't mind the smell of almonds because it does have that almondy smell but it is a beautiful body oil. And I'm going to try my hardest to have all of these products listed down below but YouTube does cut you off in the description bar at a certain point so. Put a link and just redirect them to a page and they can even download it on a PDF if they want to. I don't know if they're going to want to do that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you can link it to a website. And then the other Lossy Ton. Fine, I won't do it. The other Lossy Ton uh, body product that I love is their Ultra Rich Cream. This is beautiful. They have another one that's really bougie in a glass bottle, and it's as if, and I've done it, you put the body oil that I just showed you on first and then this cream over top and you get the same result. But I like having the oil and the cream so I can mix my own concoction depending on what my skin needs. But just so you guys know, the other one is essentially the two in one, but then you don't get the flexibility of a lighter moisturization <laughs> versus a deeper no, moisturization. Nobody does this. <laughs> no, nobody does this. It's not true. This is insane. I discovered this hair mask that I love, so I purchased a new big bad boy of it. It's the Amica or Amica Nourishing Mask, and it's an intense conditioning and repair for all hair types. So this is amazing, and it smells so good. You're not helping. I, of course, had to pick out some more of my Shiseido facial cottons because I go through these like a mofo. I can't cut them in half because the acid toner, my uh, lotion P50, 19, lotion 1970, P50, P50, 1970, that one, um, I put over everywhere down to my boobs so I need a full cotton so I know like Stephanie Nicole likes to cut hers in half I tone the whole way down so I don't I go through these like crazy but so yes I picked up that I'm trying to get as much of the bathroom I have been obsessed with the Peter Thomas Roth water drench hyaluronic cloud line so I picked up two more of his creams I've been putting this all down my neck my chest area everywhere and it is so amazing to have that hyaluronic plump on the chest area that moisture because it the hyaluronic acid is also going to draw in moisture and water retention and so I picked up two more of these and his eye patches I use almost every day that are part of this line as well. And I just got my mom hooked on this. She asked me to order her both this and the eye patches too because it's that good. Then uh, Bobbi Brown, this is something new for me to try out. This is an illuminating moisture balm. I picked up Pink Glow and it's a skin boosting balm that enhances your natural luminosity and you use it every day because it does have re-energizing and repairing protective properties in it. So I will be testing this baby out and letting you guys know. Then this came just in time, the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Supplement. I'm literally down to my last couple of drops. I will show you what it looks like. This is amazing. You use three drops every evening on like mid part of your routine. And it is one of the best skin supplements, serums that I've ever tried. So I repurchased it. That's how much I love it. I think you should have like a a beginner's level skin routine. I already have. Level, I have my. And it completely I have obsessed, a skin. And absolutely insane. And then my personal one. <laughs> I have a. I have my skin favorites, and then I have a get on ready with me and a get ready with me. All right, but when skin you say routine. that that's supposed to be used midway, is that midway of your level of insanity, or is it like towards the beginning if you're more? No, it's midway. Well, you go up in consistency. So you start with the lighter products, and then you build up to the thicker products. And that it's like a thicker so serum. A middle, so that's why I would Middle level or thicker? Middle level because you don't put moisture and then a serum. You always do serums and then moisturizers. I'll save you guys the time and stop asking questions. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Uh, and then this also came in perfect timing. I literally have one pad left in my shower for tomorrow morning and then I would be out. This is the Neogen Dermology Bio Peel God Peeling in Lemon. I have been obsessed with these for over a year now. I use a pad every single day. It is a very gentle exfoliant but it is so beautiful and I know a few of you have tried it since I recommended it and all of you guys have told me that you love it so I had to restock on this baby. And if you guys have been with me long enough, you also know that Sunday Riley's Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm is my favorite balm of all balms when I put a bunch to the test. This is the winner. Uh, so I did get another one of these babies as a backup to my backup <laughs> just to make sure I don't run out because... You know when the zombies come? Uh, I know! These <laughs> stores aren't restocking and you can't get to the well, Somerset you, Mall. No! I no. can't. This is like the best thing ever. That Actually, that's good because this is... I'll talk about this one next. Uh, so, I think that this is the best balm. This is the first step in my cleansing routine. I do have a five-step cleansing routine. If you guys have seen my un take the makeup off video. It's only five steps. The cleansing. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Just the cleansing. Okay, here. So, then I did pick up the Kate Somerville Cold Cream. Uh makeup it's a moisturizing cleanser and makeup remover so I did pick up another one to test out because she makes some amazing products so I thought well maybe this is brand new too it's not like an old launch it's a new launch so you never know maybe this one is going to win my heart in place of Sunday Riley this is really pretty Oh, okay. Well, it smells really good and it, it just looks like a whipped moisturizer. So I don't know how that, this will be really interesting to test out as a makeup remover. I don't know, but it's pink and white. attack because when I was in St. Lucia I ran out of my drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream remember that moment in the bathroom when I was like because <gasps> it was empty and I yeah. couldn't keep pumping yeah this baby I am this I haven't actually used on my face I keep putting this on my neck and chest area every night because I really like the idea of having the nine signal peptides and the protein as the supplement onto the skin because you add, you know, protein powders and things like that into smoothies. So having a protein type of moisturizer to help repair your skin really made sense. And I'm really trying to focus on fixing this area too with the freckles and sunspots. So I've been using this. I already went through a whole bottle. I bought it the day it launched. And I don't know when that was, but if any of you guys have an idea of when that launched, I used it every single day from the day it launched, and then I ran out of it a week and a half ago. So I'll tell you how much fun she was at St. Lucia being terrified of the sun. <laughs> Leave your comments below. Guess how fun. Guess. It's okay, we didn't really leave the sanctuary, so you're not that really was okay. supposed to. Right. There's that Jade Mountain is Okay, what about Aruba or wherever we end up next. They have Gabanas. Again, leave your comments below. So I haven't tried this yet, but this is Sunday Riley's UFO Acne Treatment Face Oil. So I thought for that time of the month, this might be a perfect oil to put on, at least the troubled areas. And I did have it matched up with it's no, that's buried. Yeah, I, I drug that out down here. Oh. Is that it? No. That's okay. We'll get to it. Yeah, it was right around it. There. So I did also pick up the cream. Here we go. Face mask. Is there another one? Yeah, there was another one. I think. Of course there is. I don't know. We'll get it. It's fine, babe. Yeah. 
So I have the Saturn Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask from Sunday Riley. So I would put that over like the troubled areas on my hormone breakouts and then this oil over top and I'm going to see how well the, that actually performs. Sunday Riley's Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I literally do not go a single night without using this oil. This is just so good. It has retinols into the oil mixture so you can use it every day without it being like really intense on your skin like a typical retinol is. So you don't have to worry about having your skin get red and flaky or irritated because of all the oils mixed in. So um, this is what it looks like. So I picked up another one. You are just going to town in here. Just looking stuff. I'm pretty sure I got more than one of these, but I don't know, maybe not. These are my Estee Lauder Power Foil masks that are one of my favorite sheet masks of all time. Same with my mom. So I did want to try, or not try, pick up more of these. Kurt's throwing me off because he's just going to town. But these are so good. If you guys have not tried it yet, these are fantastic. There's two giant cans. Yeah, these are the other uh, dry shampoos that are like ridiculously the bomb. This is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. Guys, I'm not kidding. You can go a whole week without washing your hair. Spray this in your hair and your hair will look like you just came from a blowout. This is the most intense dry shampoo I have ever tried. I had a, a little deluxe sample that I first used and I was like, oh my god, I'm buying two of those on the sale because this is freaking amazing. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this on a daily basis because it would really start stripping oils from your scalp and then it would start producing, your hair would start producing more oil and more oil. But for those emergency days, if you guys, my migraine sufferers out there, if you have to just skip a day of washing your hair or like that extra day because you shouldn't wash it every day already, this is like a life savior. It's just so good. Of course, I every haul I had to pick up Sephora dry clean instant dry brush cleaners. That way I can just quickly clean my brushes and keep using them with multi colors and not have the brush be wet because when you do a thorough cleanse you have to let it sit for like 24 hours before you can use your brushes. These are fantastic. So these are makeup room. Dude, we haven't put it dead in the box. I picked up my favorite uh, RMS Beauty, the ultimate makeup remover white. This is the wipe that I use to get the makeup off of my neck and chest. It's infused with coconut. It's mainly coconut oil, actually. Excuse me. Yeah, it's like just coconut oil, pretty much. But it's amazing. And if you have, which you shouldn't, but even if you have a sunburn and you need to remove your makeup, this will not hurt you in the process. I got mixed up for a second. Uh, I have actually liked quite a few things from Erno Laszlo. So I thought I'd pick up this multitask eye serum mask and see what it's like. You get six in here. I have no idea, but I will put it to the test on camera. I also picked up Drunk Elephant's TLC Sakuri, Sakura? Sakuri? Baby Facial uh, Resurface Reveal. It's a virgin marula, marula oil, and I just wanted to have a marula oil on hand that also has the AHAs, BHAs, and the nice blend of glycolics, salicylic acids, and everything like that. So I haven't tried this one out yet, but I'm going to, and then I will let you guys know. Okay. Uh, I bought this. I am not a Briogeo fan at all. Like, the products just don't work for my hair. But Briogeo came up with this Scalp Revival Stimulating Therapy Massager. So I bought this in the hopes that this would be awesome on, like, migraine days. So, like, push it in there, but I don't know if it's going to be... Either way, it's really great to always like massage your head and move things around for blood flow because that also helps stimulate production of hair growth. 
But I was hoping that this would be like something. Oh yeah, that will be. Oh, with Kurt pushing on that on my temple when I have like an RA flare up. Oh yes. My job description just grew. Oh, feel it. I don't have your problem, so for me that's just annoying. Oh, that's annoying? Yeah. Oh my god, this is heaven on, because I'm having a flare up right now. Oh, can I just sit here for a couple minutes, please? Because that's amazing. No, put some pep in it. Oh. Okay, well that's a winner. So if you guys have flare ups anywhere in your head, temples like I get from arthritis, that would be a really great tool for you. Uh, well, there's two perfumes that I picked up. I got the Dior Poison Girl and the Gucci Bloom. I had samples of these and they are both such beautiful perfumes. The only thing that bums me out about the Gucci one is the packaging is so beautiful. You have the flowers, the butterflies, like it is gorgeous. And then you open it up, because I had the sample, and it is just a plain nude bottle. Like, why couldn't they emboss it with this, put this print on it? This is so pretty, and this is just... But it smells really good. You have to, like, Not that you stuff. can put it anywhere where you can see it in your bathroom anyway. Like yes, you are but I want this packaging. It's so pretty. Does it tell... Mm. <laughs> Alcohol did not. See, that's supposed to be in perfumes, not in skincare. <laughs> Wow, it actually is not telling me the hints on here. Of what, so I can't even describe it to you guys. And I have a really bad headache, so I can't even spray it right now. And the Dior Poison Girl is not telling me the hints either. This one is a really pretty bottle, though. Look how pretty that is. I didn't get a huge one, but this one's really pretty, too. Gucci goes in the meat bin. It goes in the... Oh no, what are we doing? You're bathrooms over You're here. doing bathrooms. I was going to say, unless perfumes and makeup. Alright, and then you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, that I'm obsessed with the Sephora mousse to oil, body oil mousse moisturization thing. Uh, but they appear to have discontinued it or maybe they're reformulating, repackaging, I don't know, but it's gone. So Too Cool for School has this egg mousse body oil. So I thought I would try this one out and see if it's anything like Sephora's. Well, it's similar, so it's gonna come out definitely like a mousse to body oil. So I will keep you guys posted on this baby. I also picked up this Kiehl's Nourishing Dry Body Oil for days when I'm in a major rush and I have to just like slap my clothes on and there's no time for creams to sink in. I wanted to try this out because it's really hard to come across a great dry body oil. I picked up the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. I've been wanting to try this primer for a while, but I did want to hold off for the sale. So I will try this out tomorrow. This is for... Did you say that was? A primer. Oh. Make a primer. Screwed that up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I picked up the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. It's a quick drying rinse free formula and it has like antibacterial properties in it. So I did want to try this one too and see what's better and um, between this and the Sephora. So I just got a small one of it. It comes in a really big bottle too. Then I got a lot of skincare because I want to try out a lot of skincare. I got the Lancer. I don't know if it's Lancer or Lancé. Are you French? Where do you come from? Where are you me? Why are you not telling me? I don't know if it's Lancé or Lancer, but it's the Omega Hydrating Oil with Ferment Complex. And the ingredients in this are amazing. Like. You can go look on Sephora's, but 
this. It's just, this looks so, it even has copper in it. And copper is such a great anti-aging benefit. And this has a 10% ferment complex for essential hydration, fatty acids, poly petanols, it looks like. I can't really read it. Oh, here we go. Polyphenols and antioxidants. So I'm really looking forward to trying this baby out. And then I picked up the Shiseido Refreshing Cleansing Water. I did want to try out a nicer micellar water compared to just the drugstore ones I've been using. And this is actually reasonably priced for Shiseido. I want to say it was like 18 bucks or something. It took me back. I was like, Shado, what? So uh, I definitely am trying this out because this one has a nice pH balance formulation in it too. So I'll be trying her out. Uh, I picked up the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Nourishing Oil. It's the Infusion de Rose. This one though, it's beauty oil, face oil, but I wanna keep this one in here to mix with foundations how pretty pink and everything so this one is actually going to stay in here for extra dewiness with my foundations i'm not using that one as an actual face oil i wanted to try out this one you guys know i'm all about the night masks so this is by a new brand to me anyway summer fridays it's the Jet Lag Mask Hydrate. So I'm going to be trying a little baby out. This is for traveling. I do have another one I haven't done an unboxing on. There are like literally 15 boxes of unboxings to do. So this I thought might be a really great setup for when I'm traveling to have all my brushes in here. So you put... Ugh, your brush is in here and then the flap protects the actual bristle and then to have that on display when I'm doing my makeup quick fast in a hurry for events so I thought I might as well try something like this and look I can even remember to put cards in there well this might be a much better setup for me when we're at events and that kind of good I'm happy you're happy that just kind of can go anywhere because I'm gonna put that with travel stuff. So Dumbo, what are you doing, girl? All right, a drunk elephant C firma day serum. Everybody needs to be using a vitamin C in their skincare. Everybody doesn't. Mine? I gave you one, but I don't think you are. Can you tell? I don't think you're using it. I don't. You'd have more brightness. Vitamin C. Well, I think I gave you the Mar Mario Betascue to try first because it's a is lesser. A, is that a spray? No. It's in a green bottle. So this one's 15% and you want to work your way up and you also want to make sure that you're getting a pure vitamin C and this one is. You want to look for the word L-ascorbic acid and then it's not a derivative based vitamin C. So this does only have a six month shelf life. Uh, shelf life so be aware of it it pops up really nicely so it does stay sealed but if you have this exposed to sunlight uh, heat anything like that it will go bad even faster than six months and you'll see a color change and at that point stop using it even if you haven't used up the whole thing then Dr. Dennis Gross, I had no idea it was a cruelty-free line until I looked into it more. And he has these hyaluronic marine hydration booster. So it says if you have dehydrated rough texture and dry fine lines and wrinkles. I don't have that, but I think that this will be a life savior for me when I'm traveling because my skin gets so flaky and dry so I'm gonna be using this for traveling for sure. Isn't it like saver rather than savior? Isn't it both? Aren't you a savior if you're a lifesaver? I don't know. Oh, just one okay. words. See here's another one of the Estee Lauder power yeah. foil masks. That was a subject change. This seems so cool to me. Super Goop came out with a glow stick sunscreen of SPF 
So that just cut off on me while I was talking about this. Uh, this is the Super Goop Glow Stick Sunscreen SPF 50. So the fact that this is a glowing SPF 50 was so intriguing to me. Super Goop is also a cruelty free brand. So I thought if I put on my uh, drunk elephant physical defense so that way I'm like physically defended against the sun rays and UVA UVB penetrating into the skin and filtering through and then I can put this over top and look like glowy and luminous and have like all that SVF for everybody else hiding out in the hut you still have to walk in the sun no, I'm that person where I go out with the dogs and I go and find the, the spot of shade. I won't even stand in the sun mm. for five minutes. They call them vampires. Yeah. I, I so ixnay on my... Oh, this is her shot of Pig Latin. You're going to love this. <laughs> oh my god, I love her. Oh my god, you guys, these are so good. The Shiseido Refreshing Cleansing Sheets. Ah! I like live for these and my mom is now hooked on these too. I had to order her some. These are the best sheets when you just need to, it's not a good makeup remover wipe, but when you have nothing on your face, like you wake up in the morning and if you don't want to do your skincare right away or if you need to touch up while traveling, which is what I was doing when I have a really early morning appointment and I don't have time to do my full skincare, I will wipe my face off with these and then I'll just kind of do a spritz of a deep hydration, do what I have to do, come back home and then take care of things or right after the gym if I don't want to get in the shower immediately because I'm dead from the gym but I still want to get the sweat off my face. These are so good and they have moisture built into them too. Like, I, like you need these in your life. If you guys are migraine sufferers, if you're just anything and you just, you need that quick pinch to help out, you need these. Is this a spoon? <laughs> no. Oh. That goes with another... The big yeah, white box? Yeah, down there. Okay. All right. So then I picked up Ciate London's new Dewey Spritz, and I have a PR package from them, so I have no idea if this is actually in there or not. But this is the Luminous Prep and Set Spray, and you guys know I am all about luminosity with setting sprays. So that's going to stay here so I can try it out tomorrow. Oh, I picked up a backup of my Lila B face a glow face mist because this, if you guys want a glow, you need this. This is like better than the Tatcha Luminous spray for glow. So I am more than halfway done with this bottle so I did pick up another one. Uh, Tatcha, I am at like the last drop of this Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum. This is another one that my mom is now hooked on because of me too. And literally today while I was like rolling the bottle, I'm like there's just enough for an application tomorrow morning. So perfect timing. And the Tatcha Camellia Gold Spun Lip Balm is incredible. This is $30 and it lasts forever. It has gold fleck in it to make your lips have like a little bit of a nice shiny effect to it. But <laughs> uh, it's the camellia that's put into a balm form that is so good for your lips. And this saved my lips after my lip augmentation. And anytime I would do lip fillers, I always uh, use this as part of the healing process when the lips would get overstretched. So if you guys suffer from dry lips, if you go snowboarding, skiing, if you're out in the sun, if you do injections, this is incredible. Wait, why am I messing up again? What am I doing? I make up your skincare. I told you guys it was a lot of skincare. Oh. Then I have this uh, Josie Marin, the whipped argan oil uh, body butter in, this one looks like a new packaging. 
I get the unscent. Oh, this is the light bronze. That's right. I wanted to try this out. This has a bronze and it's a vanilla peach infused luminizing body butter. Because I'm obsessed with her normal. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about the smell. But that does look really pretty. Okay. Skincare. And then I also grabbed the Erno Laszlo Lighten and Brighten White Marble Bright Hydrogel Mask. So we will put this to the test on camera, as well as the Kiehl's Instant Renewal Concentrate Mask. And it has a blend of cold pressed Amazonian oils. So we'll go into more detail when I'm doing these videos, but I'm really excited to try these out. See, I knew there were three. So there's the other one because I'm, I'm obsessed like I I need to use these at least once a week and Dina got hooked on these because of me too and my mom sorry Dina no Dina loves them I can't get it I picked up the Dennis Gross Furelic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum I am not buying the Drunk Elephant uh, Vitamin C Eye Serum because that one has alcohol in it and I will not put alcohol around my eyes for creams like I know the Milani spray has it in it and I use that to intensify eyeshadows but for anything as far as taking care of the skin goes I that drunk elephant has alcohol in it and I'm staying away but I do want to try this one out here uh, I've been wanting to get the Violet Boss like a boss palette since it dropped at Sephora, but I figured I have so much to go through. I'll just wait to pick this up during the sale. So I did. And look how fun. I can't wait to open this up. I'm obsessed with Violet Boss. That's you. Thanks. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, this was supposed to be with my Marc Jacobs video earlier today, I think. Yeah, and I threw it in there. Oh well. This is uh, the Daisy Love Eau de Toilette Spray, but I think this is not... I was supposed to show you guys this in my other video because I picked it up and it is a spray instead of a rollerball. So I love his perfumes and I picked up this whole new collection and I failed to show you guys this during the rest of the collection. Um, is that me? Yeah, bathroom. bathroom. I'll say the word. <laughs> All right. I'll wait for that one. Oh my God, did I get... Oh, these are lip colors. Okay, I guess for... there's like no order. Well, to keep it like... Let me finish with Marc Jacobs. Okay. I'm going to find you more Marc Jacobs. No, this is the new, new releases. So today I put to the test the Marc Jacobs Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder and this is a really great powder. I love it. It's not going to replace my long comb but I did want to test this out for you guys. And it almost has like a blurring effect to the skin so it is really great. And then I also picked up a backup of my bronzer because he only releases this once every summer and it sells out so quickly and it's the best bronzer on planet earth and then also his new limited edition iconic eyeshadow palette in fantasine there's a million of those i know this i think i've got a lot of the million <laughs> All right, you guys asked for more makeup forever, so I got more makeup forever. And there were more shadows that I wanted, but they were out of stock. So I'm going to put them into a palette, and then we'll go over them when I'm going to do a tutorial. But I picked up one, two, mm -hmm. three, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 ish. Yeah. 17 are on my lap. I don't want, I'm gonna put this in a separate box though so they don't get smushed and broken. Yeah. 
There's also the Makeup Forever Z palette, but that's probably at the bottom. Hold on. Is this it? Oh, no, but I might as well just talk about it anyway. I picked up the Sunday Riley The Influencer Clean Longwear Foundation. So we'll be putting that baby to the test. Touch and Saul released new metallic, uh, they're good duo thingies. This is the Metallus Liquid Foil and Glitter Duo Shadow things. So I picked up the remaining colors that I did not have. In case you guys haven't seen these, it looks like this. One side is a cream, and then you put the glitter right over top of the cream. And I love these for a quick, fast, in a hurry glam look. So I will be showing you my entire collection of these babies. Apparently 19 on the Makeup Forever. Then you got those oh. tubes, whatever they are. Okay. So the Touch and Saul, I picked up. Ida, Teeny, Grace, and Titania? Today, you Well, Titania. It's a weird name. Titania? Sure. I don't know. Uh, and then Ulta has other shades that Sephora doesn't have, so I also have the other shades, so I have every shade from Touch and Salt now. And then oh, there oh, were two more eyeshadows, so 19 eyeshadows from Makeup Forever, and then I did pick up their Aqua XL Color Paint for laying a base down, cutting the crease with color, so I did get, oh really, you're just going to give me numbers, I know I got colored. Really? Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's right. I got their Aqua Seal, too. So I can try to see what this mixing medium is like. It's a baby, so we'll test out that mixing medium. And then... Why are these not saying the colors? Okay, literally, it's just like M16, M82, and M10. I don't know the colors unless I start squishing it out. <sighs> All right, my brow pencils. I use the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I use number two when I have no roots, and then I use number two and number four when I have roots to balance it out. Number three pulls red, so just be mindful of that when you're looking at the scale. I've tried out number three, and it really pulls as if you're like a redhead, so that's why I mix two and four, and three is not in the bunch. Oh, they're making it forever. Oh, this Makeup Forever, I already put this foundation to the test. It's the Matte Velvet Plus, and I really loved it. I had a shade that was too light, so I picked up a shade that's a little bit too dark, so I can kind of mix them together and have my own perfect concoction. What's your nose? Okay, you guys, this I had to process on what I wanted to do moving forward with NARS because I have not purchased a single thing from NARS since they decided to become a global company because they were 100% cruelty free. But then I thought about it some more and it really isn't fair that because the Chinese government is such a piece of shit that companies need to exclude citizens because of the government. So when NARS went global, they still don't test on animals when they're creating their products, but now that they're global, which means they sell to China, the Chinese government then forces the products to be tested on animals. So it, it's tested on humans in production until it hits China. And China is what's making NARS be not an all-encompassing cruelty-free brand. And the fact that they were completely cruelty-free and then decided to start selling to China was really off-putting to me for a while. But at the same time, it's not fair to all Chinese citizens to not be able to purchase makeup because their government 
is a piece of shit. <laughs> so, um, I've moved past that with Mac, so I thought I should move past it with NARS and give you guys some more NARS on my channel. Because at the end of the day, they are cruelty free. It's China that's not. So, these are tested on people. <laughs> so, I picked up the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I don't know what I'm going to want to try out first for foundations. There's so many. And then I picked up the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Uh, both of the new highlighters, which are Capri and Fort de France. And then I have a lipstick in Orgasm. They released the special limited edition Orgasm line and same, oh no, this is a concealer. Uh, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is light to vanilla. So hopefully this will be my shade because the last one I tried was not. More makeup forever. These are still the Aqua Excel color paint, but I wanted to have a bunch because you guys want makeup forever and Smashbox. All right, so I picked up my correct shade, hopefully in the Smashbox foundation stick because I really do love this foundation. So now I picked up 1.1. Uh, I picked up Smashbox's new 24 hour liquid liner. So I'm gonna test this out tomorrow actually. And then a bunch of their always on metallic matte liquid lipsticks. I'm not a huge liquid lipstick fan, but I really do enjoy this formula. So I did pick up all of these babies. I will do lip swatching videos to go with this. And then their Be Legendary liquid metal in Moscow Mule. Tart. Time for tart. Cruelty free, cruelty free this time. <laughs> Don't uh, go to the Smashbox. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, wait. What are these ones first? Okay, I picked up the H2O Gloss. Appears like I picked up five shades. Zip line out of office, hang 10, getaway, and sun dress. And then I also wanted to pick up, a, oh, no, and Sandy Toes and Room Service. Oh my God, I love Room Service. <laughs> Side note. And then their Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipsticks. I have seven shades. So we're just gonna do like a whole try on. Video. Would you say that you love room service, babe, or you won't stay anywhere without room service? Both. Okay. You still around? Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. So I have the YSL Liquid Color Balm. And... I was going to say, I know there's a bunch of these in there. I don't know, I picked up a bunch of these. So again, lip swatching video. And then, yeah, another one. These will all be listed down below, there's so much. And then all of these are their uh, Volupte Tint and Balm Nourishing Glow Color Enhancing. So I picked up a bunch of these guys as well. Tom Ford. Uh, Tom Ford, I have two of the Ultra Shine lip color and my favorite eye pen of all time. A couple of oh, some more Touch and Saul, Lana and Linda. <laughs> no, let's see more Tarte H2O glosses. NARS. Oh my god. Uh, NARS, this is their Velvet Lip Glide in Rose Land. Uh, I felt like picking up the Kat Von D, I think this is the contour. Yeah, contour brush number five. That will be getting added to the brush collection. Kevin somebody. Kevin O'Quan. Our rest in peace. He's no longer with us. So Really? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I picked up the Molten Lip Colors and the Neo Blush, like the corally one. 
it looks really, really intriguing to me online. Like this shade. The other shades look like they were all meant for more medium to deep skin tone. Look how beautiful this packaging is though. That ombre. Nice. It really is nice. I don't think you guys can. There we go. But. Oh, yes. This is right up my alley for our blush and luminosity. We're going to test this baby out tomorrow. Oh, my God. I'm sweating like crazy. What about you, babe? Because I'm Ooh, dying. Oh, Hourglass has come out with, this isn't it though, uh, their new Veil collection and I have purchased that. I will try to list the rest of the products that are purchased that are not in the video also in the description bar. Uh, but I did pick up their ambient lighting bronzing powder. I want to test this out over top of the Marc Jacobs to see if it just gives like a nice extra radiance to the skin. And the Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. I want to try their formula out. Then by Beauty, their Amuse Bouge Liquefied Lip with uh, Resveratrol. I tried the one shade out. I love the formula so much, so I picked up four more. Uh, Sephora has these like tear apart makeup sponges that were just really intriguing to me so I want to try these out and then the uh, beauty blender came out with this really cute BFF beauty's best friend so you open it up and you have two beauty blenders in there and you're supposed to replace yours every three months um, I can't handle that I don't go more than two months without replacing mine because of bacteria it's just I mean that's the you're putting that right onto your skin with foundation so um, yes like today for instance I clean mine every single day, but I'm so done buying this color because it actually stains and it looks nasty, so I'm over that. So I got that. And then for on-the-go cleansing, I picked up this little beauty blender pad, so that way it comes with soap, but there's also a tin of soap for coming with me. I like their cleansing oil a lot more, but this could be really great for just traveling on-the-go, cleaning my brushes not filming and then here's the big makeup forever palette to put all of those oh that's plastic wow i thought that was going to be higher quality to put you what are you serious wow okay i would not recommend this palette well do you mean you break through that the makeup in it or the palette? No, I bought the palette so I can have all the Makeup Forever eyeshadows in the Makeup Forever. Oh, that's just the display. Yeah, but that can break so easily. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's supposed to be displayed. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Want to come? Uh, yes, my Hypnose Drama Mascara. I've been trying out a few and just nothing compares to this mascara. Nothing. Nothing. Marc Jacobs Le Marc Lip Crayons. I picked up two of those. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Ugh, Dior Addict. Oh, these are, when I did that video on the uh, Lacquer Plump I don't, it's a more recent video. I love that formula so much, so I picked up a couple more shades. I told you guys in that video that I probably would. It's these guys, if you remember that from the packaging. That color is beautiful. This is 456 Dior Pretty. Like a hand just sorting it out by brands. So I grabbed the makeup or makeup Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep Lip Love for when I'm doing all of my lip swatching videos, and then the Meltdown Makeup Remover to help take it off more easily without being so stripping on my lips. Then I am obsessed with the Urban Decay Special Effects. Um, 
Spice Special Effects top coats and they released a few more shades that I don't have so I picked up Fever I want to say that says and Copycat and then also I did a dedicated video to the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss and I loved it so much so I did pick up one more shade this is Fireball and all I think about is Pitbull I thought you were going to break out as Sinead O'Connor earlier. She said nothing compares to this one. Don't know that one? No. Mm, God. Uh, the Mirror Urban Decay. I wanted to try this one because it's actually for the water line. So it's just a black eye coal. Then the Urban Decay water line. I also, oh sorry, I got a nude and a black. It's my favorite name brand. Here's Drunk Elephant's Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. So I really do want to try this out. I've never tried Marula for my face, so I want to give it a shot. Smashbox, here's another Be Legendary uh, liquid lipstick and always on liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh, do I have a lot of Smashbox. I have picked up a few of these little trios too from Smashbox. Tom Ford lip colors. This doesn't say what color it is. Uh, but Tony and Hiro, Hiro. We're gonna do a lot of swatching. Here's the other color, and there's still another one that I picked up from Smashbox. Oh, I love this. This is my third tube. This is the Clinique. Pet Start Pout Restoring Night Mask for your lips. Uh, I use it all day and overnight. It is so, so good. So this one, big winner. This is skincare. Then, okay, let's make sure this one is not broken. When Too Faced released their new peach line, the Radiant Bronzer came in completely broken. Oh, wait, this isn't the Radiant. Yes, it's not broken. So I can try this one out. Oh, that's cute. I knew it's supposed to be like a pie. You got the concept. But I can't eat it. it smells like I can eat mm -hmm. it. You can. It tastes so good. So now I don't have a broken one. I can actually test this baby out. Does it taste good? The setting powder tastes really good. Remember the girls even tried it? And they were like, oh my god, it does taste like candy. Why were they eating setting powder? Oh no, not the girls. Uh, when we had the get together, when Tina was here, and Darcy, and then I had you taste oh, it too. Oh yeah, no, okay, I remember that. Yeah. We were drinking. And then I wanted to try one of Too Faced's nude, natural nudes, intense color, coconut butter lipstick. So I grabbed one of those babies. Here's the other smash, I'm like so intrigued by this glitter in this little trio. So that's why these look so fantastic. Uh oh, the name of names. Natasha Denona Eyeliner Pencil. This is like the only thing I don't have from Natasha Denona's collection, so I had to get Why your not? pencil. Yes. Uh, oh, this looks so awesome to me. Amore Pacific Resort Collection Sun Protection Stick SPF 50. So this is gonna be like a nice, quick, and easy touch up stick, like when you're just out and about to have it in your purse. Yes! So this one will be staying in my purse whenever I feel like we're on the road and I need to like sunscreen. Uh, I love the Dior Forever Undercover High Pigment Foundation. So I had picked up a shade that was too dark so now I picked up ivory so I can mix them together because it is so nice and then I really was intrigued by the Dior cooling hydration sorbet eye gel so I will keep you guys posted on this Bobby Brown yes I've been wanting to put this palette to the test for a while now the crystal drama there's also another one but it's more like nudie every day Bobbi Brown was the only eyeshadow that I would wear 
pre-YouTube. Like I, Bobbi Brown is where my makeup, my eye makeup always came from before I discovered this world almost two years ago. Yay! <laughs> And it stopped recording on me again. Uh, apparently I picked up three Tatcha Camellia lip balms. I thought I picked up two, but I guess I got three. Okay. The Bobbi Brown SPF 50 Protective Face Base. I, you guys see the theme here? This is going to be going on before makeup. Then the Anastasia... Why am I saying Anastasia? ABH Stick Foundation. I wanted to try out. I have a lot of foundations. And then I have the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer to test out for you guys. Prada came out with a new Prada Candy Sugar Pop. So I really wanted to try this baby out. Let's see. Does she smell good? I have a headache. Ooh. I think it will. That smells good. That smells good? That smells pretty good. <laughs> Put it on later? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Leave it out. Um, oh my god, you guys need to have this in your lives. My mom made me order her some. This is the Cora Organics Noni Radiant Eye Oil. I have been obsessed with this since it launched and I use it every single day and I'm only down to like here and I don't know how it's possible. I use this morning and night because it is an oil for your eyes. Like how fantastic is that? And it's organic, all natural, cruelty free, and it's made by, uh, oh my God, Miranda. Sings. No, Super Victoria. Secret Supermodel came out with this line, but this is so good. If you guys picked up the like the deluxe size samples during checkouts and you thought that like no oil comes out, I did that at first and then I was like, no, I bet you the pro like legit product oil will come out and it does. So if you guys got the little guys and you're like, this is junk, nothing comes out. No, so much comes out and it is just like the best thing on earth because it's oil for the eyes. So okay. Just, just do it. Suggestion for an evening when you've got some time to kill. Drinking game, watch this video, take a shot every time she says obsessed. And then report back in the comments below. Uh, this is another primer I really wanted to try. The Beauty Filter Cream Glow by Sun and Park. So I will be testing this out. And this is another balm that I am obsessed with. It is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm with Resveratrol. I've told you guys about this many times and it's been in so many uh, empty products, so it's really good. Uh, another Kevin O'Quan Molten Lip Color. Empty products or product empties? Product empties. Could have got either way. I'm tired, I'm starving, I'm sweating, I'm dehydrated. <sighs> <laughs> then I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer to test out for you guys. Uh, the Guerlain Meteorites Base. It is a Perfecting Pearls Anti-Dullness. Oh my god, so many primers to try out. <sighs> and then new Becca. Look how fun. This is like a dreamsicle. Her new Shimmering Skin Perfector. Oh, it is a dreamsicle. The color is dreamsicle. <laughs> That's why it's a dreamsicle. <laughs> All of that just happened. I'll try to put that. And this is what on. I figured shape tape was going to be. Why was I wrong? And I haven't even been using this either, but I just, they're six bucks and they sell out so quickly. So I'm like, I might as well get a couple more just in case, but I stopped using tape. Just in case. And I just started, well, in case I feel like using tape again. Another theme. The zombies come. This is the solid uh, beauty blender. Oh my god, uh, cleanser. And I haven't tried the clen the solid, just the oil. So this came with that kit. That oh god, are we almost done? I think it came with this. 
So I'll be trying that out. And then I was so pumped because Artist Couture is now at Sephora, but they didn't have Jackie Ina's collab. So now I got Jackie Ina's collab and discounted uh, from Sephora. But I picked up La Peche, La Peach. She didn't go as fancy pants as Lancome. So La Peach because that's for a lighter skin tone compared to the other shade, which is definitely for medium deep. Then I have been so intrigued to try out the Artiste brushes. This is their Elite collection. Oh, that's what it looks like spoons. Yeah, so I got, this is like almost the entire collection. I really want to try these babies out. And then this one, the brush number seven, I think it is, Oval Seven, was not part of the kit, so I had to buy number seven separate from the box. And then this is their cleansing pad, and I thought if I'm investing this much money in brushes, I'm going to get their, what they want for a cleansing pad, so that's what that is. Oh my god, is that it? Because there's padding in the bottom. Yes. That's about that much padding. Here, that's makeup. But just put our brushes, but I gotta clean them and stuff first and just go over there. Holy cow! This is like the biggest unboxing ever and it's not even everything because stuff oh, is still trickling in. Blood in the legs, blood in the legs. I'm dying. Oh my gosh. Oh, Luby. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could have just seen that cute little stretch that the little munchkin just did. All right, so that does it for my crazy, over the top, haul of all hauls. If you're gonna haul, this is how you haul. This is how she hauls. This is how you haul it. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh my God. We might mute that in editing. Just for you guys. Uh, no, because I edit and he's not touching it. Maybe that'll be the title. This is how we call it. I make the thumbnails. No, it won't be. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. Uh, you don't make what the If there's a difference between the description and the thumbnail, that means we both did not move from our position. I honestly have no idea what to call this haul because it's, it's such a ridiculous haul. Let's go up here. Yeah, it fell. Uh, so that does it for this video. Uh, let me know if you guys made it to the end and if you made it to the end, put a little comment about this is how we haul it. If you celebrated a birthday while watching this video, <laughs> put a comment below. No, but that's how I'll, I'll know who made it to the end. Just say hashtag this is how we haul it. And then, oh. uh, yes, then we'll know who actually won. So I'm pretty sure 99.8% of you guys are, are going to be I'm not going to have it. Nope, but I will, I will know who made it to the very end. <laughs> so hashtag this is how we haul it. Uh, and as always, hashtag Fawn Fam. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have so much put to the test. And this is one haul. You don't understand the other boxes of hauls behind me. If you've seen the beauty room tour, it would be very hard to make it to the couch. Yeah, it's just... Like, the fact it's that our organized dogs are just by little like, is the only way that they can get through it. High-end haul, drugstore haul. Uh, I actually can even do, like, a PR unboxing because so much is actually accumulated, too. Like, there's just... It's ridiculous. It, it's There's so much. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, good night, good, good morning, night, good morning, wherever, wherever you, are. you are. We love you guys so much. We love you guys so much. And we'll talk to you later. And we'll talk to you later. <laughs> and I have to wait for her to say that because I forget it every time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.